In the news this week, a human rights expert criticizes guidance which could silence church schools on gay marriage, a street preacher is arrested after reading from the Bible outside St Paul's Cathedral, and a legal bid for no-fault divorce is rejected by judges at the Supreme Court. Hello. Government guidance that could stop church schools expressing biblical views on marriage has been described as legally flawed by a top human rights expert. Professor Christopher McCrudden warns that draft guidance from the Department for Education does not give due regard to the rights of Christians. In a legal opinion for the Christian Institute, the professor also questions the consistency of ministers who promised that same-sex marriage would not trample religious freedom. The guidance prohibits teaching which suggests that same-sex marriages or civil partnerships should not be recognised as being lawful unions under civil law. John Denning, Education Officer at the Christian Institute, described it as a deliberate attempt to stifle the views of marriage supporters. Schools don't exist uh, to indoctrinate children with state-approved dogma. They're there to serve parents by educating their children. And that's the law. There's no problem with teachers giving a sensitive explanation of a Christian view of marriage. And it's disturbing that the government wants to ban viewpoints from school and ridiculous to say to a Christian school that they can't teach a Christian view of what the law on marriage should be. State guardians in Scotland are being told to routinely ignore the wishes of parents and children. A video tutorial reminds teachers acting as name persons that consent is needed before pupils' personal information can be shared. But it then tells them to override consent by default, explaining Otherwise, you'll have to show you obtain parent and child consent. Alison Preuss of the Scottish Home Education Forum said she was left utterly dumbfounded by the video. I could not believe what I was saying. You cannot do that and be compliant with data protection and human rights laws. It is ridiculous and flies in the face of the Supreme Court verdict. A street preacher has been arrested outside St Paul's Cathedral after cathedral staff complained about him reading from the Bible. Alan Coote, a bus driver from East London, was arrested for a breach of the peace when he said he would continue to lawfully read scripture. The evangelist said that no passers-by had ever complained. Colin Hart, director of the Christian Institute, said the law affords strong rights but can be misapplied. We do know that wrongful arrests can be made, even though there are good laws which have protected street preachers time after time. When we have defended street preachers, we have always won. This indicates how strong the laws are in this country but even good laws can be misapplied. And finally, judges at the UK Supreme Court have ruled against a woman seeking to divorce her husband on the grounds that she is unhappy. Tina Owen, 68, wanted the court to allow her to split from her husband immediately, despite not being able to prove fault on his part. A judgment in Mrs Owen's favour would, in effect, have introduced no-fault divorce by the back door. In their ruling, judges said Mrs Owens must remain married to Mr Owens until 2020, upholding the five-year separation rule. Institute Director Colin Hart stressed that keeping divorce difficult is the best scenario for families. Children do best when they live with both their married parents, and divorce puts children at the centre of the dispute between the divorcing spouses. Many people who file for divorce change their minds and go on to have long, happy marriages. Making divorce quicker and easier robs them of the opportunity to reconsider and reconcile. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.